Hey guys, this is EB with Macintosh Tips. Uh, let's go ahead and go ahead into our RAM slash hard drive upgrade in the white MacBook. All right, first thing you want to do is go ahead and shut down your Mac. You can do that two ways. One, either hold, pressing down the power button and pressing shut down, or going to the Apple logo on the top left corner and shutting down your Macintosh. All right, once your Mac is shut down, you can go ahead and remove the case if necessary. Now, of course, if you don't have a protective case on there, it, you don't have to remove it. Now this is an end case. Um, it's a very, very nice case for keeping your MacBook safe, protected, um, and also clean. I'll look, put the link in the description bar over there if you guys are interested in these end cases uh, while I'm getting this taken off here. All right, I've gotten the, the t there you go, got the whole thing off. Go ahead and flip your Mac over and remove the battery by using a quarter. There we go. Once you get the battery off, you will see uh, three screws exposed one, two, and three right there. All right, and you see your hard drive on the left side uh, under that little L bracket. So go ahead and take these screws out here. It shouldn't take just a second. Once you get these screws out, um, I'll remove this L bracket. And the screws are actually in the L bracket. It has a little lip on the screw so you won't lose your screws, which is a very nice invention from Apple there. All right, once you have the L bracket off, go ahead and pull that little lever over to the left and your RAM will pop right out. I don't kind of pop that hard. It'll pop out usually like this, and you just have to take two fingers and just pull it out easily. Just like that. Once you have your RAM removed, you go ahead and look over to the left side, and you'll see a little white flap. Go ahead and pull that flap out, and give it a good, nice little uh, nice little pull that's in there. So, give it a nice pull, and that's your hard drive. And this is the uh, one, 120 gig uh, Macintosh Apple. Um, actually by Hit, uh, Hitachi, how do you spell it? Um, hard drive. Now go ahead and insert your new hard drive and push it in firmly. Just keep pushing it all the way. All right. Once you get that in, then go ahead and take both the sticks of RAM. And uh, while, while this is going in, I'm going to go ahead and say that you're supposed to demagnetize your hands. Um, if you have any friction, if you're in a code or anything, um, or if you are around... Uh, a lot of stuff that will generate static, you need to touch something metal. Uh, this way you won't mess up the circuit board or the RAM or anything like that. Looks like we got both sticks of the RAM in, so you can go ahead and take your uh, uh, L bracket and go ahead and put that back in. And screw that back in. And while I'm putting that L bracket in, um, I'm going to go ahead and tell you about the RAM I got. It's from um, crucial.com. I'll put the link right over there in the description bar. And uh, along with the link with the, L with the end case. Once you get the uh, door back on here, um, you can go ahead and put your battery back in. Lock it by turning to the left with the quarter. Make sure you got battery. Uh, there you get some power on the battery. Flip your uh, Mac over and boot it up. I had to speed a lot of this video up, guys, just so it uh, it would uh, I could do it in a short period of time. That's a good sign. That means the RAM is installed correctly. If you hear any beeping or you don't hear any noise at all, um, more than likely you put the RAM in wrong or it's the wrong kind of RAM. So uh, just uh, trace your steps back and redo it and it should work. Uh, you can go ahead and go to uh, app, the Apple logo and go to About This Mac and you can see there that that RAM is correct and we got a new hard drive in that computer. So that's that. Thanks for checking in. Stay tuned. Peace.